Nintendo's latest firmware broke the Switch homebrew, but fixes are rolling out. A new PlayStation 5 exploit via Netflix is making waves, open source hardware mods are progressing, and a rapid fire update on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 jailbreak tools. Let's dive in. So, Nintendo dropped System Update 21.0.0 for Switch and Switch 2 last week, and unsurprisingly, it threw a wrench in the custom firmware scene. Right after release, users found that Atmosphere custom firmware couldn't even boot if they updated, essentially breaking homebrew entirely. The Atmosphere lead dev Sires Am scrambles to push out Atmosphere version 1.10.0, a pre-release, adding support for 21.0.0 so custom firmware can boot now. However, this update did more damage than usual. Nintendo quietly changed a low-level system interface TLS memory in 21.00, which broke a ton of homebrew apps, even ones that hadn't needed updates for years. Essentially, older homebrew used some reserved memory that Nintendo just repurposed, leading to memory corruption and crashes. As Cyrus M noted, all homebrew software may need to be recompiled with the latest lib and X or or else it may crash. In play terms, many homebrew apps, emulators, tools, etc. simply stop working on 21.0.0 until their developers update them. This is why after updating custom firmwares, people saw errors or apps instantly closing. The underlying system changed in a way that old apps couldn't handle. Less memory for mods. Nintendo also clawed back about 10 megabytes of RAM from the system for itself in this update, meaning some custom sys modules have less room to run. There's no immediate fix for that, so modders might need to optimize memory usage going forward. Luckily, over the past few days, the community has been hustling to catch up. As of today, the crucial signature patches needed to run homebrew and backups have been updated for 21.0.0 plus Atmosphere 1.10.0. Many popular tools are also getting fixes. We've seen new builds of installers, save managers, etc. being released to restore compatibility. The homebrew menu itself was updated to warn you if an app is compiled with the old, incompatible SDK, a helpful heads up so you don't accidentally launch outdated apps. In short, if you did accidentally update your switch, all is not lost. Update to the latest Atmosphere Plus Hackity, grab the new signature patches and make sure to update homebrew apps to their 21.0.0 compatible versions. Shameless plug, you can follow my guide in the description for step-by-step -step custom firmware update instructions. The MIG flashcard users beware. 